You bought to do it for a rest. This is the bounty on the outlaw's head. Thank you for your cooperation. Greetings and salutations of what? Welcome back to more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. Previously we met Dusknor and found out Team Skull's trying some stuff. This episode, well, I just done all the jobs I had to do in Fane, in Waterfall Cave, which included a triple question mark thing. When you do a bounty with triple question marks and have an egg, they will just give you items. They can give you eggs, but you'll mostly get items anyways. But this episode, we're obviously just going to continue on with what we're going to do. Now, during the... Oh, everyone, time for dinner. Yeah, let's go. Hold on, everyone. Um, before we start dinner, there's something I must share with you. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, out of it. Let us eat already, lad. Quiet, please. Um, now, just as it was, this, another time gear was stolen. What? Another time gear? Another one got stolen? Uh, is it maybe the one of Fog Bad Lake? No, it wasn't. Stolen time gear was not from Fog Bad Lake. It's apparently from elsewhere. That's the second time gear to be stolen. It'd be extremely bad if a phone would be stolen now. Rest assured that I have full confidence in you all. But I must make one thing very clear. I must never tell anyone what you witnessed during our expedition. Understood? Of course. You don't, I don't got a big mouth. Eek, I would never forget to promise me that you could see. Okay, okay, quite everyone. Sorry to keep you waiting. Without further ado, on your marks, guess that. Ciao. Now, during the missions, Purple Blue and Bubble Bee, I learned natural gift, and I recruited a Barboche and Muck. Just want to say that because it will be a little bit of a consistency difference, but me and people leveled up once. Just before dinner, Chad said another time gear was stolen. That's two now. I can't imagine who'd be stealing them. What would I even want with the time gears, anyways? I just don't understand. I don't know either. But when I was at Fog Mount Lake and saw a time gear for the first time, I saw a time gear. Why did my heart start pounding so wildly? I'm actually reading too much into this. My pulse raced when I saw the time gear. And time gear's being stolen. No, just no connection at all. You know, when I think about it, I guess the our expedition Fog Bandly took place a long time ago. Was it the view fantastic? It was like being in a dream. What the hell is he doing? I wonder if he's well. Hmm, I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have trusted Dan. Soon after he left, another Pokemon would come. But this one, it stole the time gear. I should have done it. I should have taken their memory so I had the chance. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but you're one. No one led me here. No one told me about this place. I've known about the of a time gear here for a long time. I have no call of you, but I'm taking it with me. The third time gear. Wake up! Am I not going to save? And I think we sent you to today. Let's do our best just like we always do. What? What's going on? Okay, got it. Hold on. You two, Team Royale. Oh, we do not send you today. Huh? Excuse me. You called? You've got yourself some visitors. Visitors? They're waiting at the guild entrance. Go see them. Who could it be? Of course. Mark, hi there. Oh, it's you little guys. We heard if we had visitors. Are you the visitors? Yep. We want to ask Team Royale for help. 
help. Yep. We need your help finding a water flow. A water flow? Weren't you looking for that earlier? A water flow? Yep, someone said it was lying on the beach. We weren't looking for it. We didn't find it instead. This is what we found. Scrap of paper. What's the spite on it? Let's see, what does it say? The water flow from the beach is now in our possession. Just trying to take from us. We're in the deepest part of Amp Plains. We don't know how weak and puny you are. That bitch can't even reach us. Cha ha ha. Can't handle it. Go quiet, your big shot friends. Cha ha ha. Hey, there's no. It's a. It's a ransom note, isn't it? No, guys, promise me you won't go yourself. I suspect a trap. But the water flow is very important to us. We really want to get it back. But I can't take us all to a dangerous place. I said I would go too. It's too much for you. I don't want you getting into any scary scrapes. I went to Amplanes by myself, but many Electro-type Pokemon live there. I'm no match for them. I tried going many times, but I get knocked out right away. I just can't stand how weak I am. No problem. I know what to do. We'll go get the water flow back for you. Really? You will? Yep. So no more tears. Especially around Mars, because he's a ground type. Seriously, you're killing him. <laughs> okay, well, sorry to bother you about this, thank you. You should see your faces all like crying and laughing. Come on. Don't worry though. We'll get it back for you, it's a promise. Let's go. We're off to airplanes. We cannot go to airplanes. Well, we can go to airplanes instantly, but obviously some preparation would be necessary. I can help Shellas, can't do it myself, please don't get on you. We'll pick up this quest, but I'm probably not gonna do it instantly. I just like taking a spare quest at about because sometimes it can give you some really rare well items, or sometimes it even gets you a new dungeon to explore. Which is pretty handy. Because also where dungeons is giving give you some pretty cool items, or some even have rare Pokemon as bosses you can recruit. That's pretty cool. And Chassis, how you doing? Could I actually could have been, well not quite yet. Give it a little more time. I think it takes Actually let me search up. It takes eight in-game days for the egg to hatch. Apparently. I could have sworn it was quicker than that. But that's okay. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can remember any moves. Nothing there really. Yeah, like I said, me and Purple did learn a new move. I learned natural gift. Six damage based on the berry I'm holding. Each berry changes type. I'm not going to equip a berry. But I figured I'd rather have it than take down. Simply put. Now, as Bell said, we're dealing with ground types. So I'm honestly pretty fine. I'll Pokemon with quicker. Oh my god. Well, maybe we can on that. Okay. Oh, yeah, Grimey can learn. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What I want to do... So I want to put away some items. Obviously. Oh, that's what it is. Um, yeah, I'll take this guy, Bluebow. The gold ribbons. I will take two apples of me. I then grab all my gummies. I 
Now, with natural gift, Shea Bay will actually do electric damage, chest, oh, I believe, bug type. I don't exactly remember. All the berry effects, but I'm not going to get them all. I'm going to get a couple of iris seeds because I'm going to need them. Uh, but take I just want to see if any of us can learn though, but cannot. None of us can learn poison jar, but other than Grimer, which is really nice. But now we're going to talk to Kecleon here and we're going to sell those gold ribbons. Oh, 2,000 apart. Huh. Well, I'm going to jump cut then because I'm going to do all my preparations and spend the cafe in now. So I'll see you guys then. I'm just quick. I got the worst version of the drink right there. This drink is so wonderful, so amazing. They couldn't have made it if I tried. This is so incredible. It is a miracle. Amazing miracle drink. Unbelievable! Number four is a heavily super special, incredible miracle combination flavor like this has been experienced. Right now, right here, Monsters enjoying the flavor that is out of this world. IQ went up. Defense went up. Wow, wonderful. Max HP went up two points. When you get a drink like that, it boosts your stats constantly. Uh, Zinc boosts special defense. I will give that to Aquas, I think. I'm going to speed this up. I just wanted to show off that I got that drink. That's the first time I triggered it though. That's from the last, last time I got. But with that, we will... Do a quick save. And we'll just continue on before we got it. Actually, what I'm going to do... I don't know. I'm gonna get to see our back to Aquos. I'm gonna get. To s oh yeah, I need to actually get someone. I want to get safe. Mm, I will stand by because I have an idea. I want to get Bob Boach or Reaper. You can get any of them. That's what I want to do. I want to get these two on my side because they could be quite handy. So I have to give special band to Barboach. Let's get a blue bow to Scythe. I can't disable I have to go into a dungeon. That's kind of annoying. But I do want to check my IQ. So it's because I got I got Bodyguard. If a team member next to Pokemon is in Torbo's HP, the Pokemon will step in and take attacks. Aim death line. Yeah, if Pippa is about to, to get killed, I will take the head form, which is actually pretty handy. Surely, it. Well, it is a passive buff. Everyone's attack and special attack is great. Brick top everything is for fan P just? Or ground types? But yeah, it's fair enough. That's why I got more HP. <laughs> 91 HP. And a non trader, pretty handy. I can't use. It. Well, if the Pokemon has a confused stats or carrying stats, its widely aimed attacks will not hit friends. Which is great. And exclusive move user. The Pokemon only uses only moves, not its regular attack. It won't use moves that are out of PP or moves of a link that will D link. Yeah, basically, now if I use Z, I will just attack. Uh, efficiency expert is when near several enemies, Pokemon talking to one has low HP. That's if I was an ally though. But we're gonna continue on. So Amp Plains. This place could be pretty tough. Full of electric types, but honestly, it's the first time I'm going through it as a fan pee. Last time we went through this, I was was the last for Sky play I think I was an Napoleon in that. Like my very last one. Let's be anxious to planes. I can't imagine what sort of bullies would do something like this. I mean, funny little kids like those brothers really stinks. Here to get their water flow back. Yeah, it's a little bit. It is a little bit tough. I'm not going to say it's not difficult at all. Okay, yeah. 
This is natural gift. An encore forces you to fame. And that's mine, that's cool. We're gonna send mine back. But obviously the purple is a little bit annoying. Hey, what a gun, nice. I think with my last play if I did have a wild type, I don't remember who it was though. Might have been purple. So yeah, I did end up having trouble with my last playthrough. And I'm asleep. Great. Happy sleep animation though in a dungeon is adorable. I love it. It's way too cute. It's just a shame that Fanpy and Scarlet Vine now becomes super terrifying. And of course, like regular games. Well, unlike regular games, I can actually be hit by an electric type move. But I take reduced damage from that. I'm not completing me yet. I think later Mr. Dungeons do implement type effectiveness to a level of degree. Not quite sure though. Heaven, but um, yeah, mine for recruiting it is actually really where recruiters recruit weight is incredibly low. So, gain it as the first Pokemon. This dungeon is actually pretty good. Um, wait, I need to use Flail. By God. Yeah, natural gift isn't that strong a move, but even still. Now, of course, if you have a scarf, then it gets paralysis. I would recommend having it. Having an IQ skills to stop you from getting paralyzed. I just haven't gotten it. Ooh, nice barbooch. Yeah, should be fine. Biggest worry of this dungeon is getting paralyzed and combo. Oh, great. So it can't be used to it. Roll out. Oh, snap. But we're going to try and get through this dungeon as relatively simple as we can. I just hit. There you go. I'm trying to think of stuff to talk about and stuff, so I guess those players don't need to always have commentary. A twist band, that protects you from... Constrict? Oh dear god. You need to be careful about anime taking reviruses. In fact, there is a way to avoid that. Which I will probably implement right now. So I want safe, check IQ. And you can turn off IQ skills, turn off item master. Basically, Pokemon in your team can't use Fang now. Basically, they can't use Revive C. Because obviously, they don't need it as much as me as Pipla. So I just don't want them using any of the items that we could potentially use because it is a boss fight at the end of this dungeon. Hey, we weep! Very nice. I should have given it a name. What I'm actually going to do is send Barboche back. Because having an electric type would be pretty good. Check IQ and a master. Ooh, power band, very nice. Um, my special band give to Marie. Um, 
Wait, what is Peppa playing? Wait, Peppa is wearing the... Uh, yeah, the seal. Yeah, so give her back to safe. Boost every stat. But yeah, now I'll try just one food dungeon. I should have brought some Tartar Seeds though, thinking about it. And I am paralyzed. Plus this is a little bit annoying in this game because it's a 50-50 chance that you get to move pretty much. Well, I don't think it's 50-50 but it feels like it. Okay, we know the bit weep is at the location that we need. None of that. Woo, we leveled up for Piplup. And I think with how the XP is, it means I'm going to level up quite soon. Because I level up right after Piplup. Nice. Oh, agility. Don't worry. No, please hit it. More than once, please. Thank you. Level 20. Woo! 93 HP at this point. But I really wish I was able to learn dig. This is why I was mad I couldn't learn dig. Because it would have been great during the ground on fire and it would have been great here. For some reason, Fred, we can't learn dig. So, we said I can't? I'm just gonna do a regular bash. So, why well, I should have linked moves, why well, I should have linked defense, kill and roll out for the boss fighter server. Because it'd be quite good. But it'll be fine. I guess I could always show. Hmm. I guess I could always show who you can recruit. Well, on this floor is Giraffe, Ray, Gallica, and Marie, but there are other Pokemon. Just the Shinx line, for example. Booyah! And I'm out of roll-up. Right, I need to use regular Bash. Because I only need to see if it moves. And this is why I bought apples with me. I'm still going to rely on Aquas to be a bit of a sniper. As for how many floors the dungeon has, I don't remember. I think it's 12 for the first half. Oh, it's 10 for the first half. Here we get a kind of statue. I'll show you how it could be useful. I mean, I suggest sweeping the floor for treasure from corner to corner. And what you can do is you can actually go back as well, but there's no real reason to. We'll continue on as normal. Look to getting close to Deep's Pie. I don't know what it says. We'd better go really cautiously. Meanwhile, back at Treasure Town. Ah, you see, that's what happened to your water flow. What a mean thing to do. So his team is on the way there right now, yes? Yep. They said they would go get it for us. Good for you, you can rest easy knowing Team Royale is on the case. Yes, that's true. They want to do zero too. We're so grateful for the help. Good day to you all, it's something the matter. Hello, Dust North, sir. We're talking about Meryl's last item. Do you remember we discussed that very same thing here not long ago? Of course, I believe you're referring to the water float. I seem to recall you heard it was on the beach. Exactly, exactly. But now there is more to the story. 
I see, that's terrible indeed. It's hard to imagine why anyone would do something so wretched. Must take some pathetic folks to stoop so low. I just couldn't agree more. To be so mean spirited to the children. And the children are so young as these brothers. It's utterly unforgivable. I'm a fan, where's Timuel gone? They went to Amp Plains. Pardon? Did you say Amp Plains? But Amp Plains at this time of year is the season four. No, this is ruinous. Timuel is in grave danger. What? I must leave for Amp Plains immediately. What? Wait! Yeah, we're in great danger apparently. Somehow we all be back to it. That's a joke. Oh my god, Roll as I wish I had fame. I wish I had ancient power again. I can remember ancient power actually. Which I'll probably do. Oh dear, there goes Anima. I was hoping I to use Anima immediately into this place. Do I know if it's low level? That's why I'm bringing it with me constantly. I need him to level up. Ooh. No, 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 no. Huh. Okay, yeah, pursuit is scary. It reflects damage back to you. But it doesn't reflect the item damage. There we go. But yeah, pursuit is a scary move. You stop that. Jeez. We'll wait. Let Pippa Bland to hit. Just be on the safe side. So I was at a disadvantage now knowing that Anarith is KO'd. Oh, snap. Mm. I'm going to set that, but I'm going to use Natural Gift. Yeah, there is more Pokemon in this part of the dungeon as well. Obviously, Dodrio, Electric, all of them. And Taurus as well. Don't fight Taurus if you can avoid it. It's a bit worrying at this part of the game. I'm going to try and avoid as many fights as possible. Nice! If we level up from a week. Yeah, gain a good electro type here will be useful for basically I want. And cool, found it as time to scope. Don't need it per se, but it can help. Right, I'm gonna use defense curl. And use defense curl again. I'm gonna tank while Pip-Up does the damage. We'll say Pip-Up is a performing move TPS. And I'm going to the Pepper Blight isn't a type, isn't a, like the Pepper Blight isn't one to just, it's like sleep on, it's a pretty good, like Pepper Blight and Polyon is pretty powerful, especially in Misty Dungeon. Level 20, sweet. See, I think we're on the final floor now, I think it's a 24 dungeon in total. Oh dear. Although well, Pursuit is only useful against physical attackers. There is a version of it, Miracote, I believe, which is the special variant of that. We're not going to encounter... Actually, I think we can encounter Miracle in this dungeon. We won't use it until later, really. Boom. And hit down. 
been all good so far. A trip trap. Right, I'm going to have to re equip everything. I will give that to my weep though. Then power bang goes to me. Yeah, what is it? <gasps> no. Bad electabuzz. Oh cool, we got west. We can get to west here in this dungeon, which is pretty handy. Cannot argue with a free west here. Especially since I'll probably end up using west most likely. That's what I want to see, Peppa. But you can use natural gift of a chest or berry and west to do some pretty cool stuff. Especially if you're a fan pee like also I might just use chest or berries from this point on. What a menacing place. It's incredible. It looks like lightning can strike this place any time. You should get away from a place scary as fast as... Huh? Over there. Is that it? The water float? Let's get a closer look. Where... Why'd you come here? This is our territory. Someone here. Hide. Hee hee hee. So you're going to hide like that? That's kind of cute. Alright. We'd actually be grateful if you kept doing that. We'll stick out quietly to get as close as we can. Alright, let's take him out. Not like this. If you stay here, it's over. Who are you? Show yourself. <laughs> My name is Belletric. I am. I'm the leader of these electric. <laughs> now prepare to fight. I'm immediately forced into a fight. This is a fight that can be pretty tough. First thing I'm going to do is throw an iron thorns. Then a sleep seed. You need to main that trick to just stay stunned as much as possible. And for my moves, I am going to just set natural gift. I started using it. Now, Mareep is definitely getting killed. There's just no way of surviving. Unfortunately, these Minatric will use Lightning Rod to stop you from doing anything. Uh oh. I don't think they affect each other as well. Oh yeah, I'm taking a hit from Marie. That's actually good. Now I'm gonna throw the XIC. So now Minetric doesn't know who to attack. Marie, you have to stop that. Whoops. Yeah, I will take the hit from this point on, which is very handy to have. Basically, Mareep is safe and so is Pepla, because I'm going to take the hit and I'm not taking that much damage. Come here. There we go. There's a good bit of how to like you skills. You dare. Wait a second. We aren't if we come here to make claims on your territory. Enough. Take this. Stop. Stop this instant. There was a sincere. 
They trespass, but they don't intend to make claims on your territory. Dustbook? You. Who are you? I am the explorer Dustnor. Minasuk? You have every right to be angry, especially in light of what your tribe has suffered on these grounds. Your hostility toward any of the trespass here is, un is natural. This place is your haven, a place where you find solace. I understand that completely. On behalf of these unwitting trespassers, I offer the sincerest apology. They entered here unbidden, but did so without malice. They mean no harm. They will leave you in peace as soon as our errand is complete. Please believe me. Manetric. You seem to know much about Dust Nor. You make the claim that they mean no harm. So be it. I choose to believe your words, Dusk Nor. I'll allow you some time. I expect you to be gone by our return. Come. <sighs> Thank you, Dusk Nor, sir. You saved us, but. Who are they? A group of Minetric and Electroic. They are a nomadic tribe that always stays on the move. They are in constant search of places that are hospitable to them. That place is often lashed by thunderstorms this time of year. To find it to their liking, say, so draw an planes this time of year. But tragically, they were once attacked by enemies here without warning. I understand they suffered terrible injuries. Ever since, Minetric's group has been very sensitive about trespasses here. So if anyone first pass upon these grounds, well, they will strike first for fear of being stricken. Somehow, at this point, they became that became a law among Minetric, among Minetric's group. Oh, I understand now. That's why they were so intent on attacking. Still wonder they refused to hear arguments. Oh, I forgot something. I recall seeing a water float over there. It's here. There it is. Trust not, sir. Is this the... There's no mistaking it. Without a doubt, this is a water flute. Really? You did it. Let's return it to Morella and his little brother right away. I really don't understand. How does this water flow end up here? I would imagine it was put there deliberately. Whoever did this knew that you would eventually get to the spot. The fact that Minetra protects this territory is well known. Someone expected a confrontation between you and Minetra. You were set up. Wasn't that your intention, you sneaking scoundrels? What? It's about time that you came out of hiding and showed yourselves. Sure, huh? so you knew all along. No point in hiding then. Hey, it's two frogs. Woo hoo hoo. Heh heh heh. So you guys did it, but why? Woo hoo hoo. We were going to wait for you to get stomped by Minetric. We were gonna step in and mop up afterward. Hehe, <laughs> but we didn't count on you guys meddling. Shall we sell this? Sure, if it was just Team Royale, you can bet that we'd rough them up good. But against the world's famous Dust Nor, that's a different story. Let's get out, boys. Yeah. Us stinkers. I'm never forgiving those thugs. They certainly are quick when it comes to. Skidalan. I'm afraid our effort would be wasted if we were to give chase now. To think we should deliver the water float to the young brothers. And uh, we're not gonna save just in case. Oh wow, we got a water float back. Hey, thank you. Really? We said to do it way back when, and now this. I don't know how we could ever thank you. But really, thank you. Oh please, it's okay. But if I can run thank Dustnor. If Dustnor had been there, we wouldn't be here now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dustnor. No trouble at all, I'm very happy for you. It's wonderful that your water flow has come back to you. I must say, it is so like the great Dustnor to be so modest. And I must say, the team of Alice being superb. After all, the team has again completed a difficult job. When Rescue Zero old, they were so fast to pinpoint a child's whereabouts. And so fast to reach our young friend too. Oh, but to you Zero Rescue, we have to miss something. You agree, if it truly happened the way Kakleon said. That's not really the truth. We didn't pin down Zero's location before we rescued him. 
My pun here just happened to see it in a dream. Excuse me. A dream, you say? By dream, what do you mean? Oh, that's right. Maybe does not well know what it all means. See, my partner occasionally gets dizzy spells when touching something or someone. And my partner sees or hears events that happen in the past or just about to happen in the future. What? Well, alas, that's the dimensional scream. What? Does not you really know something about this? In that case, should we ask if Dr. Noah knows even more? Ask about what? Oh, wait. About my own forgotten past. About my own forgotten past. Look at ask. Wait. That's right. So we were wondering if we could get your advice about something. I see. So you found our friend unconscious right here. Yes, right here exactly. Then you regain consciousness till you lost your memory. Yes, with a memory of a name and a memory of being a human before this. I beg your pardon, human? But a friend here seems to be a Pokemon in every obvious way. That's true. I guess it's even beyond the Great Dust Lord's understanding. But we're certain there's something caused my partner's memory loss and caused a transformation from human to Pokemon. Human with the dimensional scream ability. You are. You said you know your name, at least. And that name would be. Ah, I see. Your Morris. Does that name mean anything to you? No. It means nothing to me, unfortunately. What? Did I just see? The faintest. Did those girls just hide the faintest of smiles? Or did I imagine that? I'm sincerely sorry I couldn't help you with that. However, I do know about the ability that he possesses. Oh really, what is it? The ability to see the future or the past by touching something. The ability is known as a dimensional scream. Dimensional scream. Indeed. How such an ability is known, that is unknown. But it sounds like it just lies across boundaries of time, pushing objects and reaching the Pokemon. To manifest his visions. That is all I know about the extraordinary ability. So he has an ability as special as the dimensional screen. Well, perhaps this is why we became friends. To help unravel the secret of his transformation into a Pokemon. I offer you my full cooperation. Oh, you will? Yes, to be perfectly candid, I can't stand knowing just something I don't know. Quite honestly, that's the full truth of it. It's funny to know that we have your help, Duskmore, sir. Isn't it great? Hey, look at all the Pelipper. You appear to be a lot more in the air than usual. Could something be the matter? Hey. Hello, Blue. I finally found you all. It's a bit curry. You're all out of breath. The call has been put out. All the apprentices are reported to the guild immediately. Oh, something's up. I will go with you. Hurry, everyone. Oh, this is going to be a long episode. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'll end it right here, and we'll continue on with the next... Well I'll, well, I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we continue the story. See you all then.